Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see your name up there. Just go on and make a backup. So we're going to do that right now, just in your iCloud. If you don't have more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer and make that backup there. You guys can use iTunes for PC or Finder for Mac. We'd also like to mention that if you're having any problems with the update, you can also do it through iTunes or Finder in your Mac. Anyways, right now we're gonna go up there. So you should see this in iCloud. So just tap on iCloud. Once we tap on iCloud, just scroll down. We're gonna see iCloud backup. It's turned off. Just make sure it's on. And we're gonna do is backup now. So just tap on backup now, continue on, and there you go. So make sure that's done. And when that's done, we can go back into general. Under general, we're gonna select our second option, software update, and then we're gonna download install. Some of you may only see install at this point and not download, that's okay. That just means the actual software already downloaded on your iPad, which can happen depending on your settings. For now, we're just gonna tap on download and install. It might ask you for a passcode if you have one. Once you put that in, it's gonna install the update. So the first thing it's gonna do, it's actually download it. <laughs> so that's the first thing and then install it. So in the process of downloading, if your iPad turns off for any reason, it's no big deal. However, if it turns off when you're actually installing the update, that's a big deal. So make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. And if you don't, or if you do even, if you do have more than 50% of your battery, you should hook it up to some electricity just in case, especially with older iPads, their battery doesn't hold as much anymore. So that's why I always, always suggest, even if you got more than 50% of your battery, hook it up to some electricity and keep it charging while doing any update. After doing the update, yes, you can unhook it and it's all good. Your battery will not explode just because you have it charging a little bit more than you should. How long will the download take? Well, it does depend on your internet speed. So for some of you, it could only take a few minutes. Others, it could take a few hours. So it does depend all up to your internet speed. If you would like to learn more about the actual update, we can only tap on learn more up here. And it's gonna tell us this. So you can learn a little bit more about what's happening with this update. And by the way, it's not a big update. So this will run pretty fast. So we're just gonna tap on done. I would also like to mention that all iPads have a maximum of updates. So let's say you guys have an iPad 2, for example. Those iPads are stuck in iOS 9. So they cannot be updated to this latest iPad OS 14 because they're just not up to date with the hardware inside of them. So they can't just be updated to the latest iOS, which they're not compatible with. So just a few minutes after, you're gonna see this, install now, just tap on install now. It's gonna verify the update and it's just gonna restart. We're gonna see an Apple logo and a loading bar. So at this point, we should see an Apple logo, a loading bar. Then we're gonna see another Apple logo and a loading bar. This time, it's gonna go a lot faster. After this second Apple logo and a loading bar, which is gonna go a lot faster, we're just gonna see it restarting and we're done with the update. Up to now, it should only be a few minutes. So in total, up to this point, depending on Wi-Fi speed, once again, it should be around 20 minutes. And finally, it should ask you for your passcode if you have one to get into your iPad. Once you put that in, you should be able to get into your iPad, everything working as normal. And obviously, we can check again just in settings to make sure that everything went okay. So after update, we're gonna see if we're up to date. Yeah, we're up to date with iPad OS 14.4. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.